Nathan White here for Sea Dogs TV, and uh, I'm joined after off ice workouts here by Dana Goche and Nathan Beaulieu. And uh, Nathan, you're wearing a pretty nice red hat there for this Raising the Roof uh, program for youth homelessness in uh, in Canada and here in St. John. Just tell me a little bit about uh, what went on with that today. Oh, it was great. You know, um, whenever you can give back to the community, as uh, Sea Dogs are, are right in there. So we, we had a great uh, great little presentation made up, and you know, we're, we're very happy to be involved in this program and. Uh, you know, it's it's raising awareness for uh, for homeless people, and you know we're we're trying to help out as much as we can. So whatever uh, whatever we can do, uh, we're, we're just trying to help out. You guys have really busy schedules with your hockey and your school and everything else going on. Why is it important for you guys to take some time out and, and do some things in the St. John community? You know, it, it always grounds you a little bit. You know, when you're you're winning a lot and you get so high up, but when when you come back to reality, you know, there's there's people out there that are less fortunate than us, and uh, they they have needs too. So, whenever you have a chance to give back like this, it's uh, it's important you uh, take full advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Another big community thing coming up in the next game against uh, Moncton in the Rivalry Cup. We'll be having a food drive here at uh, Harbor Station. And uh, speaking of the Rivalry Cup, Danik, you guys uh, got it out a big win against the Wildcats last night to uh, to grab a couple points in the Rivalry Cup. Uh, what uh, was the difference in last night's game? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good game. It was a tight game. But uh, we uh, we found a way to, uh, to win the game, so it was good for us. Mm -hmm. Seems like you guys have been doing that a lot lately uh, with, with injured guys at a lineup. You've been finding ways to get out these one goal wins. Uh, how have you guys been able to do that? Uh, we just uh, take our chance because we have a, a lot of players uh, injured. So uh, we take what we got in our team and we play with, with that uh, on the ice. Now coming up this weekend, uh, good rivalry with the Shawinigan hosting the Memorial Cup this year. They're going to be a strong team. And your former team, actually, Danik, uh, what are you guys expecting this weekend from uh, Shawinigan on Saturday night? Uh, I'm expecting a win, for sure. It's my uh, the team. They, they picked me out when I was uh, from, from my draft, so for sure I want to beat us. And that's, that's fun that they got the cup and they want to uh, It's the rivalry for, uh, for us. <laughs> Nathan White here for Sea Dogs TV, and I'm joined by Colin McDonald, the uh, project coordinator for the St. John Youth House Project, a very important project here in our community, and also donning one of these uh, fancy red hats for the Raising the Roof program. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this program, Colin? Thanks, Nathan. It's great to be here. Uh, this year, the St. John Youth House is participating in the Raising the Roof campaign. That's the national initiative to end uh, homelessness in Canada. Uh, and so every year, we uh, uh, Raising the Roof sells these fantastic hats at uh, $10 a piece. And it, all the proceeds, 80% uh, of the proceeds go back into the community. And this year, the St. John Youth House, which is the uh, which will be a 10-bed facility for homeless youth in St. John, uh, is the recipient of the proceeds this year. And uh, this, this is a national initiative, and uh, just tell me a bit about uh, getting the Sea Dogs on board here and, and uh, what we did today. Absolutely. Uh, it, absolutely. It's a national initiative, so all across the country right now, these toques are being sold. Uh, the goal is to sell over 50,000 toques to these across Canada. Uh, and, and we're just so happy to be here with the Sea Dogs today because, uh, you know, the Sea Dogs are, are truly a community organization because they're really, uh, whenever, whenever there's a need to bring some awareness, you know, they step up. So we, they, it was great today. Uh, the Sea Dogs bought their guys some toques, and we did a great photo shoot uh, showing the players and the uh, organization's support for these important issues in our community. And we'd love to uh, draw some attention to it for our fans out there. Tell them where they can go to uh, get one of these red toques and support the cause. Absolutely. Well, you can stop into my office, which is the Human Development Council at uh, uh, the third floor city market. Um, also, we'll be selling them throughout kiosks, throughout the malls over the next Christmas and through January into February. Uh, or if you just want to go online, if you go to raisingtheroof.org, uh, you can follow the links in the pictures of the hats and uh, you can order a hat. Just make sure that when you do it, uh, you, there's, an, um, there's a spot to actually pick the in the community that's designated and uh, make sure you click on St. John. So. so that will make sure that the funds go to the local community here. Come straight back to the local community. Good. Well, thanks a lot, Colin Thank McDonald, you. and this is Nathan White signing off for Sea Dogs TV.